Okay, on a good day, let's say 75 degrees, no wind. It's like sticking your head, sticking your head out the car window and sort of floating on air. I feel uh, kind of one with the road and nature. Riding up to the Badlands and the sun was setting. My first bike name was Dog Catcher. I hit way too many dollars at the Enforcer. I'm out with these folks. My emphasis is on safety. I don't own a dress. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> girly girls. I'm not a girly girl. That's why I don't like my legal name, Denise. Because I feel Denise wears dresses and, you know, I'm a Dee Dee. Um, basically, I'm the old standby, reliable, run-of-the-mill, ordinary, just a mom and a grandma. First ride, I remember, um, when it's very small, my cousins used to ride me on their motorcycles and I was too small to sit behind them so I sat on the tank with them. It started out purely by accident. I bought my husband a motorcycle and he got tired of hauling me around so one day he made the suggestion, why don't you learn to ride your own? If you like riding on the back, you'll like it so much more riding your own. I'm 45 years old. You know, I'm too old to do this kind of stuff. No, you're not. Well, my mom was a motorcyclist, so I always, even though my dad hated it, I at least always had her in my car. I always wanted to ride, but it was not allowed because of my mother. So I shipped her off to my brother in October and bought a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> my mother's actually the reason that I'm in Women on Wheels. She was doing it in the 60s. The main reason she quit was because she didn't feel safe out on her own, and so she just gave it up. Me riding came about at a time in my life when I felt like that things were out of control. Empty nest, losing kids. My identity had been so wrapped up in my kids and what happened with them. I don't even know what my interests are anymore. Most women have entered into the world being back seat. It was always like that. I think it's changing though with the more women ride and there's more women I think going from the back of the bike onto their own. You know and if you get 15-20 women all going down the highway together it's a pretty amazing sight. Then I try to remember wow this is really cool I'm not here all by myself and it's just me and my motorcycle in the world and, and I can do this. The adventure and doing the motorcycle ride is more important than thinking about what if I break down or something. Mm -hmm. Like when I showed up in Arizona all by myself on my bike, I was like this hero's a little strong, but you know, everybody's like, Well, what are you doing way out here all by yourself? Aren't you afraid? And this is really cool and that we're all just normal, typical people that if you didn't know that they rode or you didn't see them ride up, you wouldn't know it.